Hello everyone. This is Prajeta from Edureka and today we will learn how to create a table in MySQL Workbench. But before we get started, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online certification courses, please check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's get into our tutorial. So to start with, let's discuss the steps to follow before we get into our syntax. So first we'll have to define the table name. The table name should be short and easy to understand. Next we will define the different columns that we want in the table. And finally we will have to mention the data types of the columns that we want in the table. So now let's look into our syntax. Our syntax will look something like this. So in the syntax we can see the create table which you can understand from the statement is the basic syntax to create the required table. We would want our table name to be short and understandable so that it's easy to write in the query. Create table is one of the most important statement in SQL as we can create any data table with this query. It's very important to get the syntax correct since the data that we are going to input depends on the way we define it. So in the create table syntax after writing create table we need to mention the name of the table. After that in brackets we will mention the column names that we want in the table and after writing the column names we have to write the individual data type of the columns that we want and there has to be a space between the column name and the data type. So in the table we can have multiple columns. After each column we have to use a comma to separate the columns. In any table that we create we can have n number of columns along with their data types. And last but not the least we have to mention the primary key of the table. So every table will have a primary key which is going to be unique key. So we will get to see that in our example when we start our tutorial. So without any further delay let's get into the tutorial. Now let's check out the tutorial in MySQL Workbench. Here let's work on the database we had already created in our last video called sales. As you can see sales is the created database that we had created in our last video. Now to make sure that we are using this database only we can use the query use sales and press control enter to run the query. Now that we have made sure that we are using the sales database. Let's start making our table. So to create our new table. Let's write the syntax create table. Then we put a space and write the name of the table here. We are using customers as our table name. So now we will define the customers table with the column names. So open parenthesis first we'll write the customer ID. So here in our table we are going to use customer ID as our primary key. So customer ID is going to be integer. So we are writing int space primary key. So the table is going to treat customer ID as the primary key. Next we put comma and we're going to write the next column name which is first name. Now we'll define the first name. The data type of first name is going to be varchar. Now we are going to put the length of the input value comma. Next we'll write the last name. That again will be varchar and we are going to put 30 as the length. Then we'll have email again varchar and we'll put 20 as the length. So now we can end the command by closing the parenthesis and the semicolon. Now control enter will run the query. As you can see here in action output the table has been created. So to check if the table has actually been created we can use the query desk which means describe. So desk and the table name which we have mentioned customers and semicolon. Now we'll again press control enter. Which is going to fetch us the table that we created which has the customer ID with data type int where it is mentioned as the primary key then first name with data type varchar then last name and email as we have mentioned. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts or queries please mention them in our comment section below and we'll again meet in our next video. Until then happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. 
do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!